Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to import an Excel file into SPSS. And also I will show you how to transform or change values that are not applicable, such as probably missing values or NA values or dash values and so on. So first we're gonna open a sheet or open SPSS and then we're going to go to file and import data and you can see that you can import data from different types whether it's a database excel csv data file text file of course text file set up as tables and variables you don't have to worry about the values sorry the variables and their properties right now once you import the file from excel or database or text you can go and change the types or the properties of the variables as you desire so we're going to click on excel and of course you have to look for where your files are remember we set up the one drive if you're using AppStream or whatever you have your file choose the file that you want to import and just click on open so once SPSS process the file it will give you this window telling you that it's reading from Excel file locations and it shows you the variables in the file it automatically detect the types or the level of measurements all you have to do is press OK and the file will be imported. And you can see that SPSS imported the file. So if you click on variable view and you can see that it picked the first two variables as scale, the other as nominals, you can change that as you wish. So now, after we've changed the variable properties as required or as desired in your case, or change it from scale to nominal to ordinal, let's take care of these values over here. So to do these changes, instead of going into each cell and changing the value of NA or whatever missing value into the value that you will represent the missing value and again it depends on the variable you could use zero if zero has no meaning in the values in that column or 99 or a large number like million because do you want to see, see that or a minus value you can put set it as minus one so it depends on the variable and what the value represent so to do that we're going to go to transform and we have two options i can change the values into the same variables or i can change the values and put the value into new variables so i can keep the initial variable the initial values there just to compare it later on to see which one was missing a value which one we didn't have a reading in our collection of data so i'm going to do both i'm going to show you both first record into same variable and i'm going to choose this variable here z and we're going to click on old and new values under value we're going to put an a and i'm going to change that to zero and we're going to click on add when i click on continue and click OK it will run the code to do that the decoding or recoding you can see here it's saying from NA to 0 so if I minimize that you will see that in the variable Z there is no NA anymore it changes all the NA to a value of 0 minus 1 it's up to you the second method is if I want to change those variables and put the result in a new variable. 
Now, I will show you how to do that. It's similar to the previous tab, but this has kind of disadvantage if you do it, and I will show you in a minute what we mean. So I'm going to add the variable t, and I'm going to call it here t, let's say, modified. Okay. I'm going to click on all the new, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add an a, put the new value as, let's say, this time minus 1 because probably I have zero that has a meaning. So I will add it as minus one. And I'm going to click on continue. So I'm going to click on change here for T modified. And you can see that now instead of T, it's called T modified. And I'm going to click on OK. Same idea. It's going to recode T from NA to minus one into T modified. And I go over here and you will see that I have a T modified here and the NA becomes minus one. The disadvantage of doing this is that it does the modification only for T modified. Sorry, only for NA. So what happened to the other values? What do I do here? we have to add them individually. If you have only certain values, let's assume you have only one, two, three, and four. Then I will go to transform, recode, same one here, go to old and new, and I have to do that change one, to 1 and add it to 2 to 2 and add it 3 to 3 and add it so of course if you have lots of values as in our case now you will see that it will run it and you see now that it copied these values. If I have more one, two, three, and four here, they will be copied. So if that's the case, if I have lots of different values, not just specific range of values, let's say one, two, three, four, it's better to do it using the first method. Just change it or record it into the same variable. And this way you don't have to keep adding or copying all these values from the old variable into the new variable. So it's your choice. You can do it using the same variable or you can record it using into a different variables, but you will lose advantages of missing these other values that they are not an A. You have to add them one by one. Thank you for watching and have a great day.